This is a project I undertook this year to try to build a root cellar. Um, that's a rather large prospect. I uh, decided to try to do a couple smaller things to store like cabbage and potatoes in, uh, basically building uh, root cellars out of plastic, easy to find, cheap, 55-gallon plastic barrels. Um, one of the big considerations of building a root cellar is heat flow and um, soil integrity and things of that nature. In this case, what we uh, what we were doing is taking a uh, big piece of plywood, cutting a hole in it that's six inches uh, larger than the radius, and uh, digging down to where it's about six inches above the soil. And the template allows you to dig a hole without disturbing the soil around the place where the barrel is going to be uh, sitting. So basically, you can control your heat flow that way. You get better heat flow into and out of the barrel um, by doing that. What you also need to do is take uh, insulation, in this case DCI use foam insulation, spray glue, uh, a reflective insulation on top, foam insulation in the middle. Basically it's a, not an adiabatic situation, but it's a situation where the heat flow uh, is cold coming in through the top and heat coming in through the bottom. So they tend to be in opposition and then you get some mixing in the barrel. Um, that could be modified and I'll have to do some tests on that to see how that's working. Uh, once you get the barrels in, you have to make sure they're level too so you don't get uh, liquid pooling in the bottom. A lot of these vegetables like to be stored at 95% uh, non-condensing relative humidity, so there will be some liquid in the bottoms. Once you uh, have the barrel set level, uh, just put the dirt back in, and since it's six inches larger than the radius, believe it or not, the dirt you dug out will fit uh, almost uh, back into the, the donut ring that's left, just a small amount left over, and uh, what you need to do, you don't have to pack it, just basically get a hose and uh, backfill around it with the hose, and that'll basically get rid of all the air voids. So that's pretty much how you get it built. We'll be doing testing on it as time goes on.